After the last monsoon, the family made the most of the fruiting trees. More than three quarters of their diet was this delicacy. But by May, the fruit has almost disappeared. Luckily for Bibi, during lean times, she can adapt. She and her cubs specialize in eating ants and termites. At this time of year, 90% of their diet is made up of these abundant insects. Termites are a highly specialized form of cockroach. Social animals, they live in vast colonies, sometimes millions strong. Their nests can exist far underground and can be as hard as concrete. They are made from feces, soil, and partly digested plant material, glued together with saliva, not an easy barrier for any animal to get past. What's more, the ground here is covered in boulders. So how's a hungry bear to find the termites and then get at them? Fortunately for Bibi and her cubs, sloth bears have a technique for that. They are equipped with an acute sense of smell and can detect termites three feet underground. Once Bibi finds the entrance, even 100-pound rocks aren't much of a problem. But now that she's uncovered the nest, she has to open it. Three-inch curved claws on her front paws are perfectly shaped for digging through rock-hard termite nests. With these formidable tools, a hairless snout, and long, flexible lips, she can access a rich food supply that others can't. Blowing off the dirt, she sucks up the bugs like a vacuum cleaner. By watching their mother, her young cubs learn exactly how to do it for themselves. Sloth bears are so well adapted to this diet that they're missing their two front teeth, so they can suck and snuffle more efficiently. They can even close their nostrils on demand to stop insects from crawling into their nose. There doesn't seem to be anything slothful about these sloth bears. At just eight months old, the cubs aren't yet strong enough to lift the large rocks or dig for themselves. But Bibi will supplement their diet by nursing them for at least another four months. So, as long as there's enough food, Bibi can provide all the milk her cubs need.